new at 6 o'clock. A North Texas mom says a dispute with her landlord is causing her children to suffer. The issue? Bed bugs. And who should pay to remove them? CBS 11's J.D. Miles has a story from Everton Drive in Lancaster. A recent inspection found the carpet throughout this house riddled with bed bugs. Four-year-old Joshua looks comfortable here playing in his living room, but he's one of several kids, some adopted, some foster, still exposed to them because of an ongoing dispute over who's responsible. It'll kill them on contact. Despite the daily ritual of spraying. All the kids have them on their beds now. And covering the mattresses, Joyce Ingham feels like a bad mother. It saddens me and I feel like I'm not doing everything that I can do for them to protect them and make sure that they're safe. She has nine children. Three of them are foster kids. Wow. When bed bugs started showing up two months ago and biting everyone in this Lancaster home, Ingham assumed her landlord would pay for new carpet and an exterminator, but she was told no. I'm very hurt by all of this because I've been loyal to this landlord. I've been sleeping on the couch or I really just slept in my car today. Ingham's son Jamal threw his mattress outside. He says he can no longer even sleep in the home. So she's responsible. I spoke to the landlord over the phone who accused Ingham of operating a daycare in the home, which she says violates her lease and caused the infestation, which the tenant denies. And she knows that I have these kids in my home that I love dearly. Never had a case where someone had bed bugs in a, a rental property. Area realtor Jillian Cunningham says unlike other rodents, bed bug extermination isn't usually a landlord's responsibility. Usually you go back and you look at, you know, what could have caused this issue. Until she gets some help, Ingham has only bug spray to fight with and concern for her nine children to keep her from giving up. Ingham says it will cost several thousand dollars for new beds, carpeting, and an exterminator, money she says she doesn't have. In Lancaster, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.